out. Right, yeah. So, what's occurring? Well, I'll give you a clue. I'm not on my holidays, and this ain't a sun lounger. You and me mum. She ever came home last night. You don't say. Have you had another fallout? I can't tell you what she's done. Well, you already know she's a bad egg, a rotten egg, a pickled egg. I'm not in the mood for a laugh, funnily enough, Daryl. So where did you go last night, then? I was getting close to her again, son. I'm not blind. I'm a fool. She been on robbed, then? There's no fool like an old fool. Well, you must have been old for years, then. Mm. I never want to see her again, as long as I live. I can't focus today. I'm that fuming with him. <laughs> Marcus. <gasps> Why? Just leave it, Julia. Yeah? He's staying with his ex. No! See? She does listen. I'm sure there's nothing to worry about. Oh, yes, Vicky, yeah, I'm sure. Nothing at all. My second fiancé, Pete. He was working away, selling glowies up Glastonbury. Pitched his two-man tent next to Juliet the show jumper. Juliet the show jumper? She models jumpers? No, arse riding, you know, bobbing over fences. A.K.A. his ex. Did anything happen? Oh, she won a couple of rosettes for dressage, but... No, between him and her. <laughs> well, he swore blind it never. Well, let me put it this way. When he came back, his sleeping bag reeked of trap. Oh, if he's messing you around, Sean, jib him. I did. And now, a few relationships and dodgy marriage later, I'm with one of life's good guys. Kirk! Ugh. It's him. Guilty conscience. It's not looking good, kid. So, wait. You called off a wedding because your boyfriend's sleeping bag smelt of perfume? Oh, that's not all I found on the lining of the sleeping bag, Vicky. I won't say what it was for fear of offending. But it was pretty damning evidence. No, mate, sorry, can't help you. I don't know how many times I've got to say this, but we don't sell that sort of stuff. Yes, mate. Nice not doing business with you and all. Take it easy. I'm on a break. I've got 15 minutes. Get on that couch. <laughs> Sorry if I stink of perm and solution. It's all right. I'm a bit bummed up today, so be gentle. Oh, all right. Ooh. All right. Hiya. Yeah. Not interrupting anything, am I? Oh, no, not at all. We always hang around the house like this. Sorry. It's just he can't wait. Well, neither could this, really. Wait till you hear this, mate. I've just got off the blower to some big supplier in the States. All American booty. And we are looking at a big... And when I say big, I mean massive deal. Oh, you have got a one-track mind, Tom. Tom, could this not wait till later? It's all right, babe. I've got another break in a bit. I'll come back later. This better be good. Mum not made an appearance yet? No. Did you want some tea? No, it's all right. I'll get a kebab at work. How was he? All right, yeah. Where's my mum? Oh, listen. I think her and my dad have had a bit of a row. I think she's been up to her old tricks. What, is she now then a magician? Or are you going to tell us what his old tricks are? Oh, it's the fellas, innit? How was this with her? Fellas for breakfast, fellas for dinner, fellas for tea. Well, I don't think we can rely on a show in her face anyway. I almost let her in. Dreamt about envelopes last night. Annoying things shopkeepers say, number one. Well, aren't you dying to know what's in that envelope? What? The private one? The one you found when you were snooping through Emily's drawers? Oh, you don't half twist things. Well, it's you, you're so two faced. She gave me the faux envelope to fox me. Faux? Faux, false, the second one. Faux? Oh. No, it's a trick. She thinks she's got me in her Machiavellian web. Well, I'm one step ahead of her, every step. So, so I said, Mrs Murchison, rub some toothpaste in it, please. It's an eye so... Oh, hello, Emily. Uh, or as they say in America, hey! <laughs> hey, hey. <laughs> it don't work for me, that. 
N Norris, there's a Pilates class at the church hall this evening and I promised I'd serve tea. Would you mind doing your own food tonight? Oh, yeah, yeah, my pleasure. I'll bob a chop on. Oh. You take your time, Emily, because <laughs> I know how you like nattering to those snake-hipped ladies. Snake-hipped? I've seen the folk coming out of that church hall. It's like letting out time at the Elephant House. Yeah, well, either way, you take your time. Oh, well, thanks. Uh, thank you, Norris. I've uh, I found a knitting pattern for some funky leg warmers and I want to show it to the instructor, <laughs> so don't wait up. Bye, Rita. Bye, Bye. love. Enjoy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Have a nice day. You are incorrigible. Did you hear that, eh? Did you hear that? Don't wait up. In other words, she's going to be out all night. In other words, she is desperate for me to go snooping again. Oh, what a twisted mind she has. What's the matter with you? You've had a face longer than a yard of ale all day. You know what the matter is? If I knew I wouldn't be asking. It's the garage. We're barely making ends meet there. I'm never going to have enough cash to give Molly everything she deserves. It's my own fault for giving it to me mum in the first place. How many times? Think positive. I'm too fed up to think positive. Look, I'm onto it, all right. You know I'm onto it. Who do you think I've been texting? A very important contact who's going to make us very, very rich. Safest thing in the world, young man, to be playing in the road. Hey! Huh? Hey! I'll kick you into the road if you don't stop interfering, my son! I beg your pardon. Keep away from him, Tennille. Look, I was merely saying. Oh, I heard what you said. Not one with these lug holes. Hey! Caricatona! Who do you think you're talking to? You can't look after your own kids, then just don't have any! Becky, there's no need for that. Hey! I'm not a bad mother! <laughs> I never said you were. I'll take the notice of her, right? She's off her head! Come on. I was merely saying... Don't let her get to you. I'm a good mum! Yeah, and I'm a flaming Sambuca. <sighs> Not the most original of presents, I grant you. Now, you are the first one to buy me grapes, look. Well, I won't stop long. I'm sure Teresa will be along soon. No. Sorry? She's, um... She's gone. Gone? Arnhem in life. She's poison. Oh, Jerry, that's the last thing you need at a time like this. Domestics. I'm made up, Gail. But I thought... Well? You were getting on so well. She played me like a Bon Tempe. Oh, I'm sorry. The bottom line is, we need 50k in our bank account by Monday. Yeah, cos that's gonna happen. Or the deal's off. Well, what do they want 50k for? Well, they've got to take the order on Monday, Liam. Look, we'd be the only people selling their stuff in Britain. And look at it. Oh, we're screwed. I know I've bankrolled our stuff before, but 50k? Maria would kill me. Oh, you have to put your finger out on this one, mate. Sorry. Right. I'm not the only director of this company, and I'm not Roman Abramovich. Look, well, I I'll try and find the money. How? I don't know. I'll have to get my thinking cap on. Hey, look at you all dolled up. Out on the last tonight, celebrating finishing my training. Well, you won't get arrested dressed like that. <laughs> Daryl says Mum's been playing away. I'm really sorry. Yeah, something like that. Dad, just tell me the truth. What really happened? You can tell me. I didn't need to. Daryl did. Why are you covering for her? You were right about her all along. Well, what's she done? Nothing, just... Don't question this when I say it, but... Keep that bitch away from our house and my kids. Right, 
We're going to meet the others outside that sports bar place at 10. Wicked. So, how do you feel? Merry. <laughs> I mean, about finishing the training, you damn cow. I believe I actually did it. I'm bricking it about starting work properly. Oh, you'll love it. You'll never get bored. And there's, there's no better feeling than weaving in and out of the traffic with your blue light flashing. The adrenaline that kicks in. Oh, it's better than any drink of drugs. You're flying by the seat of your pants, literally. Bring it on. The uniform's a little bit out of order, but you can't have it all. <laughs> we were at this house in Russia home last night. Some bloke had been beating his wife up, and she weren't going to say it were him at first. She was scared of the reprisals. But we got it out of her in the end. She's in a safe house, and he's banged up. See, I grew up being taught to believe that the Force were the enemy, but... <laughs> <laughs> but now I'm on the side of the little people. What, the munchkins? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's your love. Yeah, he's, he's a love. You are drunk, Kelly. Yeah, and you're Polish. Tell us something we don't know. Hey, listen, who fancies going on somewhere else? Yeah, listen, town! The only thing you'll be hitting is the floor, lady. I'm glad I don't get that drunk. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> 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 right, well, I do fancy going somewhere else. Where have you got in mind? Dunno. Careful, Tom. He'll be taking you up Carmel Street. <laughs> is that what it's called? You don't have to act so coy, Vicky Swolensky, or whatever your name is. It's Canal Street, and well, you know it. There, it's boss up there, though. I like it, do you? I'm mates for Scary C, DJs up velvet every now and again. But are you sort of going up to a club then, yeah? Yeah, on our wages. I'm going to have an early night. Oh. Well, why don't we all go back to ours? Oh, no, Mama goes spare, not a chance. Well, we can go back to Liam's if you like. Yeah, I do like, yeah. Right, party at Liam's then. Uh, can we get some takeouts, Becky? Of course. Do you fancy it then, Jay? Hey, why not, eh? Yeah, well, I'll have to finish shift, but I'll follow you over, yeah? You make a lovely couple. Oh, we do, don't we? Night then, Norris. Night then. Thank you for helping with the VAT. Oh, any time. Mm -hmm. What's this? What's what? You little devil. What? I, 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 I don't know what you're insinuating. This! It's the envelope you found in Emily's bin. Oh, <laughs> that old thing. Are you going to switch it with the one that's in her drawer? Oh, would I? Of course you would. I can't believe how obsessed you are with all this. Oh, it's me that's obsessed. I mean, you practically do a strip search every time I leave the shop. Well, it'll all end in tears, Norris. Hopefully yours. Do you know what's in that envelope? No. And nor do I care. And do you want to know why, Norris? Because I'm not as nosy as you. What are you going to do? Oh, look, it's just a plain old brown envelope. Strangely identical to, to the one in Emily's drawer, and so I, I can open hers, see what's inside it, and then reseal whatever's in that into this one. Elementary, my dear Rita. I bid you good night. <laughs> what? The party lands on his doorstep and he's gonna mind. <laughs> Let's get the sounds on. Mm. Oh, thanks for waking us up, Tommy Lass. <laughs> oh, put her down, Tom. I know where she's been. <laughs> Ian! Brought the gang back. Come down and join us. Have you seen this? Look. What a fantastic piece of equipment. Oh, you took the words right out of my mouth. <laughs> hey, t shirts uh, you know? Don't handle the merchandise. <laughs> I bet you say that to all the boys. You have got a filthy mind. <laughs> Takes one to know one. <laughs> 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 You're a right go are you, Julie, aren't oh, you? Oh, I've got rhythm, Tom. I hear a bee and I just have to let like, rip it <laughs> What the hell do you think you're playing at? Fancy a baby, Maria. What the hell's going on? And catwalk! There you are, down, partner. <laughs> What? Or have we interrupted baby making? <laughs> 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 it's in a lovely there, love. So <laughs> fun, you have been one. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Wait till you see this. What is it? The answer to all your prayers. A fish? This is no ordinary fish. This is a novelty singing fish. Oh, yeah? I used to have one of them a few years ago. Yeah, well, they're making a comeback and we are going to make a killing. Hey, listen. Hey, 
What language is that? Don't know any Japanese, do you? Spring roll. God, have you seen the time? I hope we have missed her. Oh, past care in me. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> Neil! <laughs> <laughs> what? Are you looking at him? Shut up, he's figured something up with your eyes. Take a look in the mirror, you gauzy bitch. Are you looking for a slapping face? Oh, yeah. Off who? Off me, you vile slapper. Come here and say that. Off me, you vile slapper. <laughs> oh, God, come on. What are you doing? Uh, I'm sorting him out. I'll remember your training report and fight. Stay out of it. <laughs> Police, please. Ow! I wondered where you got to. Got the tab. <coughs> Sorry. I don't even smoke. <laughs> <laughs> You're a nut at you, aren't you? <laughs> I've been called a lot worse. Hey, look at the stars. That's wicked. So have you seen anyone? Me? You're joking, aren't you? No one will have me. Yeah, right. I'm a nightmare. You just haven't found the right person yet. That was yours. You're still a nightmare. Coming to the end of the line. Is he still messing you about? Dirty get. Do you want me to go around and slash his tires? Bet you wouldn't know. <laughs> I hate relationships and all that rubbish. Jealousy, possessiveness, paranoia. <sighs> I'm more of a free spirit. Yeah? Mm. They also talk a lot of bull. <coughs> <coughs> I'm wasted. <laughs> I know. Well, it's good, though, isn't it? Yeah. Tom. Hmm? Would you mind if I kissed you? I'd rather you didn't. Right. I'm sorry, mate. It's just not my time. You are gay, then. Sean, you've got a boyfriend, and we're drunk. Well, no one needs to know if that's what you're worried about. <laughs> I'm very good at keeping my mouth shut. If you keep your mouth shut, how are you going to kiss someone? Like this? Hey, easy, Tiger. There's nothing wrong with it. Will you listen to yourself? Straight? Yeah. <laughs> Coward. I'm not a coward. I'm flipping straight. Straight? Straight? I've seen the way you're looking at me, sideways glances, touching me. Well, if you can't be honest about who you really are, well, then don't take it out on me, love. I'm not ashamed of what I am. Yeah, well, you should be, you loudmouth queen. I don't help them out when they're busy. Sean, listen, I think you're the dogs. Just come back. 
Et sauf Oui. <rire> oh! <rire> Je vais voir mes tatouages. Je There's more drama to come as the race is on to find out how and why their star witness died in the bill next. Then imagine yourself caught up in the life of Elizabeth Bennet. How would you handle Mr. Darcy? And could you ensure that the plot of Pride and Prejudice goes to plan? A unique new twist on a classic tale, Lost in Austin, starts here at nine. <laughs>